Hey buddies, Miss Pogi here, coming at you in another Wonderlands video. Today I want to talk about the new DLC item by the name of the Stabomatic. Now, if you guys are familiar with Borderlands 3, there's a gun that was very infamous and famous, but its name was the Face Puncher. Basically, the Stabomancer is the Face Puncher returning to Wonderlands, and it basically has very similar parts to the Face Puncher. It's a Hyperion, it reloads the same, it can come in 7 projectiles to 14 projectiles, and there's a lot of nutty things with the Stabomatic that you can do that is kind of making it the new meta for melee. But before we get into the main titles of the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch on the top right. You have no idea how much helps me out. And let's get into the video. Legendary? Whoa! No way, dude. First things first, I do want to give a huge shout out to the person who made this video possible. We have Tatsu. He was able to give me all the DLC items. And if you could, please check out his Twitch channel on the top right and maybe even drop him a follow. He's really close to becoming an affiliate. So if you could do that for me, that'd be great. But pretty much the Stabomatic is a new gun from the DLC 3 that is going to be dropping from the end boss. After you kill the end boss, it is going to be able to drop from the Wheel of Fate as well. So it's very easy to farm. You just need to kill him and then farm the Wheel of Fate if you'd like. Pretty much all you need to know about the Stabomatic is that it deals melee damage. Now dealing melee damage and doing a melee attack are two separate things. For example, if I melee with the pickaxe, it's going to spawn gold. But if I do a melee attack with the Stabomatic, it's not going to spawn the gold so there's some discrepancies that you got to keep in mind when using this similarly to blast chill you cannot actually activate blast chill with the stabomatic what you can actually activate is going to be the universal soldier which seems to be everyone's new favorite thing to do with the stabomatic that i'm seeing on the wonderland discord pretty much what the universal soldier does is when you deal melee damage there's keyword you have a 30 percent chance to reload 100 percent of your gun's ammo now there's a total of 14 pellets which means that there's 14 chances of this proccing so if you look at the bottom right of my screen where the ammo is you're going to notice i am pretty much never going to have to reload so this is essentially an affinity face puncher with this setup which is really really nasty but Another combo that people have discovered is the fact that it is able to use the Diamond Guard Sword. Now, if you guys are familiar, Diamond Guard Sword spawns a bunch of different elements as you melee targets. So right now it's dark magic, and after a couple of seconds, it should rotate to a new element. And there we go. Now it's changing a bunch of different elements. I'm not sure why I wasn't working on the other thing. I guess it only works on the straw men. But keep in mind that the Stabomatic doesn't rotate through the elements, it stays on the last element that was hit. So we are dealing shock damage no matter what we do with the Stabomatic. But if we were to melee once again with the Diamond Guard and get a different element, say we get poison, I believe that was poison right there, we are not going to be always dealing poison. Now, an interesting interaction I found is that the Oath of Thunder doesn't work with the Stabomatic if it's any element besides Kinetic. So if I were to melee, you're not going to see any bonus shock damage or anything but if i were to get a white damage number which i'm going to try my best to get to uh, i think that was it nope that's fire you know i just realized that the diamond guard probably doesn't rotate to kinetic so i'm just going to equip a random melee weapon and you can see right here it's now doing kinetic damage with the oath of thunder bonus added to it this gun doesn't appear to do gun damage which means it's not getting oath of fire as well as oath of thunder it's only dealing melee damage which means it's only going to get oath of thunder so rejoice if you're a clawbringer main or even doing a Clawbringer melee setup. Now, because of this, it isn't able to get any gun damage bonuses as far as I'm aware. So I'm going to deal some damage to this test dummy and we're doing 26K, 23K. So if I were to equip a gun damage ring that doesn't have any melee bonuses at all, we should see around the same damage as you can see right there. We're getting 26K, 20K, still around 20k we got 33k right there but that's because i think i hit only the head but any melee bonuses of course is going to increase the damage as well as shotgun critical hit damage as well as melee critical hit damage so keep that in mind now it is able to proc the agent skills from the stabomancer trees so if you're just shooting your target you're going to see a bunch of different elements coming out of your target unfortunately there was a nerf to contagion so we can't really abuse this as i originally thought we could but i'm sure there's still easy cases 
capabilities of just putting a bunch of dots on your enemies and then easily getting, you know, exploit their weaknesses. And obviously it's also able to proc nimble fingers. It's not able to proc follow up and it's not able to proc shadow step as far as I'm aware. And another thing that doesn't proc is salt and battery. So that was one of the combos I thought it would probably pop proc with, but that's only on direct melee hits. So I implore you to go out there and explore this new gun and try a bunch of different things. Cause I'm sure there's a bunch of things that I didn't cover that is going to be insane that people are going to discover. And as always a big shout out to the members who make these videos possible. We got Jason Noodles, Clairvoyance, Rick and Glacius, Josh Dig, 31 Bar 70, Grey Wolf, Wishkeeper, Leska, Cameron, and Benjamin. These are the people that support me as little as $5 a month, and you can also support me as little as $5 a month by clicking the link in the comments or description. To become a member on YouTube or Patreon, the more members we have, the closer I get to become full-time, which means more videos for you guys. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs> And the last shall be First to immerse and a pass out heat Facing him up with a moxie melt Till he woke up drowning in Chachiki hell War in a cave with a torch on a wall Then a window arrangement of porcelain dolls